Welcome back to my channel Biochem by World. Today I'll be discussing the types of chromosomes on the basis of the position of the centromere. Basically, there are four types of chromosome on the basis of the centromere position, and they are telocentric, acrocentric, submetacentric, and metacentric. Telocentric, what uh, what is telocentric chromosome? In in this, what happens? The centromere is present at the ends, at the telomeres. If you know about a chromosome, if I talk this about a chromatid, okay, this is a single chromatid. It is bound by another. It's sister chromatid, but with the help of a centromere, okay, centromere. The ends of the chromosome. These are usually referred to as a. These I am marking in the. Let me change the color. These these are the green, uh, the blue ones. These are the telomere, the ends of the chromosomes. This is a chromosome. Okay, two sister chromatids joined by a centromere. This is one chromosome. Okay, and if the centromere, this this if if the centromere is present towards the end, that is towards the telomeres, it is present at the telomeres, not towards. It is present at the telomeric position. Then it is termed as telo telocentric. Okay, in acrocentric, what happens? The centromere is present towards the end, towards the end of one particular side. Okay, and in some metacentric, what happens? The centromere is near the center. Okay, it is not present at the center. It is near the center. Okay, next come the metacentric. Metacentric, what happens? The centromere is, is at the center of the chromosome. Okay, and if we talk about the length of the arms, that is we usually term the short arm as P, P arm, that is petite, and the Q arm, that is a Q E Q, is a long arm. In metacentric, these both arm will be nearly equal in length. Whereas in case of submetacentric, the Q arm will be longer in comparison to the P arm. In acrocentric, the Q arm will be longest in comparison to that of the P arm. Whereas in centrum, in this telocentric. As you can see from the diagram, it is present the telomere, so we can't we can say the longest or the shortest thing. Don't I fit you? So it is present at the end. Okay, there is no Q1, there is no P arm over here. Next comes the examples. The telocentric chromosome they are usually not found in the humans and they are found in the plants. And I have taken two examples that is Podocarpus and Stangeria. These are the two plants which are, are having telocentric chromosome in their genetic material. Okay, and acrocentric in humans, basically the chromosomes are either acrocentric, submetacentric, and metacentric. So I have divisioned the we uh, we know that we have 20 uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes, and hence if I can uh, classify these 22 23 in in on the basis of the centromere, 13, 14, 15, 20, and 21 they are acrocentric. Second, fourth, twelfth, seventeen, eighteen, fourth to twelve, fourth to twelve. We mean it. Uh, fourth twelve. It means that five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve and X chromosome in humans they are submetacentric. Okay, and metacentric that is the first, the third, sixteenth, nineteenth, and twenty. These are the metacentric chromosomes in the humans. So we can say in abundance metacent submetacentric chromosomes are there because uh, uh, if we see to second, fourth. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, and 18, and X chromosome, they are submetacentric. Thank you so, so much for watching my channel. That was all about the types of the chromosome on the basis of the centromere, on the position of the centromere. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share.